Hello everyone. In the previous video, I discussed the different cloud service types, such as infrastructure as a service, platform as a service, and software as a service. The focus here is on the different cloud deployment models, specifically public, private, and hybrid clouds. This will be in the context of the AZ900 fundamentals exam, and it will cover the following skills. Define cloud models, including public, private, and hybrid, and identify appropriate use cases for each cloud model. Okay, so let's get into it. We'll start off with the public cloud. With a public cloud, all of the resources and infrastructure is owned and operated by a third-party provider, such as Microsoft Azure, Google Cloud Services, or Amazon Web Services, and it's delivered over the internet. All of the hardware, software, and other supporting infrastructure will be owned and managed by this provider. Public clouds are available to the general public. Anyone can purchase these cloud services and get access to the resources. So now let's talk about the private cloud. A private cloud refers to a cloud computing environment that is dedicated to a single organization. It can be hosted within the organization's own on-premises data center or a third-party data center. Unlike with the public cloud, in a private cloud environment, the infrastructure and resources are not shared with the other organizations. This provides increased control and security for the organization. Finally, we have the hybrid cloud. The hybrid cloud is an environment that combines the on-premises infrastructure with cloud resources, and they're interconnected to each other. You can even have multiple cloud environments from different cloud providers. This is referred to as multi-cloud. This multi-cloud environment can also be connected to the private cloud. One example of where a hybrid cloud environment could work would be for regulatory compliance reasons. An organization that's subject to regulatory compliance requirements can use a hybrid cloud approach to store sensitive data on premises and use the cloud for less sensitive data. You can even use a hybrid cloud approach to handle scalability. With a hybrid cloud approach, organizations can scale their on-premises infrastructure to the cloud to meet demand during peak times. Imagine an organization needs to process really large volumes of data. It currently has an on-premises infrastructure, but that's no longer sufficient to handle the increasing amount of data. Using a hybrid approach, the organization can store and process some of the data in the cloud. Okay, so now let's compare the different cloud models. Let's start with deployment and ownership. Public cloud solutions are owned and operated by cloud service providers, such as Microsoft Azure. They're accessible to multiple organizations over the internet, so data is co-located with other organizations' data. Private cloud solutions are owned and operated by a single organization, and they're deployed within their own data center or on-premises infrastructure. Hybrid cloud solutions offer a combination of both public and private clouds. This allows the organization to leverage the benefits of both. Now let's discuss cost. Public cloud solutions can be cost-effective for certain workloads. Organizations only pay for the resources that they use. However, costs can still add up quickly for certain workloads or usage patterns. Private cloud solutions require significant upfront investment in hardware and infrastructure, but they can be cost-effective for certain workloads over the long run. Hybrid cloud solutions can provide organizations with cost-effective scalability as they can leverage public cloud resources when needed and use private cloud resources for more predictable workloads. Another important comparison is security and compliance. Public cloud solutions offer robust security measures and compliance certifications. However, they still may not be suitable for organizations with strict compliance requirements. Private cloud solutions offer greater control and customization over security measures. This makes them well suitable for organizations with strict compliance requirements. Hybrid cloud solutions can provide organizations with the best of both worlds, enabling them to leverage the security and compliance benefits of private cloud solutions, while also taking advantage of the scalability benefits of public cloud solutions. Now let's compare scalability. 
which is the ability to handle increasing workload or demand. Public cloud solutions, such as Azure, offer unparalleled scalability, enabling organizations to quickly provision additional resources as needed. Private cloud solutions can be scalable, but they'll require additional investment in hardware and infrastructure to achieve the same level of scalability as public cloud solutions. Hybrid cloud solutions offer the scalability benefits of public cloud solutions, while also providing the security and control benefits of private cloud solutions. Now finally, let's compare the cloud service models on their flexibility and agility. Public cloud solutions offer greater flexibility and agility compared to on-premises solutions. You can quickly provision and deprovision new services or applications without needing to invest on additional hardware or infrastructure. Private cloud solutions offer greater control and customization, but they may not be as flexible or agile as public cloud solutions. Hybrid cloud solutions can provide organizations with the flexibility and agility benefits of the public cloud, while also providing the control and customization of private clouds. Each cloud deployment model has its own strengths and weaknesses, and the best choice will depend on the specific needs and requirements of the organization. When you need ownership and control, or when you have strict security requirements, a public cloud model probably won't work for you. When you need flexibility, a private model would probably not work for you. Similarly, if you want to avoid large upfront costs and pay only for the resources you need, then a cloud model might be suitable for you. For the AZ900 exam specifically, you'll be presented with questions around identifying the main characteristics of the different cloud models, or you'll be asked to give your recommendation on which cloud model is appropriate for a given situation. Okay. So that's it for this video on cloud models in the context of the AZ900 Fundamental Certification. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. I encourage you to check out the links in the description for additional study materials, including a free practice exam. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Thanks for watching.